you guys see me? You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take the cultivators off and put the bush hog on. So, there is quite a few comments about why don't you buy a mower like that that mows the side of the road that folds up narrow. We have one. Different mower ass uh, concept, um, just so I can clarify. This rotary mows it flat into little pieces it's really meant for pasture stuff that you're not gonna pick up and use the mower that we're looking for for another one is meant to actually chop it so it just cuts the bottom and that is it but yes we do have i believe this is 15 foot it's in, been in previous videos i still got that tire on it from when i <laughs> mowed over by my stuff um with that being said i'll drop that off put this on i got pasture because We moved cows over to the next one. Walk over here. So there's cows on the next pasture. So we, there goes Yanko after the bird. Um, what we actually do is go back and mow what they haven't ate so weeds don't grow up. It's pasture maintenance. We got a lot of animals out there so that they could catch up on the grass. So they got moved off here two days ago, I think. And they'll just, they'll eat that grass down really quick. And then there's another one behind it. We'll pull some animals off when we transition to that. So managing pasture, everybody says, oh, it's free. Cows on pasture is free and whatnot. Yeah, it's very cost effective, but it is something that you got to manage. Um, the amount of cows on it, when you, when you mow it, rotating them, moving them in and out. So it takes some work, some effort um to do it in a good good form and like i have said in previous videos we put dry cows and some heifers on pasture primarily for physical act activity to help them during their transition period so alrighty let's get this off and get going This is what we're doing. I'm sure we could have left them on here for a few more days, but if you leave cows on pasture where they can destroy the fence, even though it's electrified, things like that, they will find their way to the next one or destroy some stuff in between if they're hungry for better quality feed. So we'll go around, rotary mow this down. What are you doing? He is so happy. He was feeling sore the other day. Um, and then we'll keep going so yeah we got a lot of cows out here on pasture we actually are gonna move some over to a different property some of these heifers that are far out from calving but Craig checked three times we're gonna move them over to what is Jack's property and uh, go from there but how are you girls loving pasture Is it a good time Yeah, really good time. Yeah, battling flies is always a problem on pasture. Everybody's like, oh, your cow should go outside. Yeah, like today, it's a great day. When it's raining, when it's cold, when it's hot. Yeah, those are not good days to be cows on pasture. They, they battle it. So if you don't know, cows cannot sweat. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to kick that one out. I need two hands for those to unlock those. Um, cows cannot sweat. So it's basically like wearing a leather jacket all summer long. So that's why in the barn we have the fans. We try to keep everything as cool as possible. So we make them happy. 
call. Alrighty, I'll unlock this and we'll get going. So it's much later than when I first started on this adventure in life. With that being said, I went on a service call. It's Saturday. How it works in my dealership job as a technician is I'm a salary person. All winter long, I put in a lot of hours as far as starting up, um, working a lot more, knowing that this spring I was going to be busy. I didn't expect it to be this busy. But at the same rate, that is why the last bit for anybody who's new, it seems like all I've done is work on the farm and I've kept content coming out. Granted, usually after work on a on an average day, I. <coughs> I come back and I work on the farm or I wrench on something or I've had enough video to make multiple videos for a day to keep the content coming. But at some point we're going to get back to, these cows really aren't scared of the mower. I don't know if you see them. Windows dirty. Um, at some point we're going to get back to not everyday con content because I'm going to run out of things to film or run out of time in the day splitting things up so but up until then i hope i hit 100 days in a row we're at like 62 61 days or something like that. Well, well this might be like 64 by the time the video comes um so maybe we will but that is so that is why i'm it's now five o'clock 5 11 and i'm finally getting to rotary mine which honestly we started and it's Saturday. I started going and my left hose, one of, so I got three hoses that run this. The wings uh, are each one hose and then the middle to lift it up is one hose. Yeah, the hydraulic line blue. It has a pinhole leak in it so it leaks down all the time but it's got stoppers so it's not sitting right on the ground anyways. So. All I'm going to be able to do is mow this pasture because I can't run around and lift it up. I can't drag it down the road. Somebody's running in front of me. So with that being said, we'll mow this pasture and then I'll keep going with other stuff. We do got to go look um, at how wet that corn ground is that we got to replant and we'll see from there. But cruising around this pasture doesn't take very long with these bigger mower we we have a John Deere 609 which is like a six foot mower I picked this one up from Frank um, or the farm picked this one up from Frank like three years ago it works really well for like mowing around the cranberry bog over the ditches edges uh, and mowing pasture since pasture is something you have to maintain otherwise weeds will grow up and you'll have a lot of the issues overgrowth so you gotta mow it down after cows have grazed over it we probably got a no-till into this again we've done that in the past in the fall to help keep the grass coming and keep clover into it yeah i guess i'll uh hammer this out and then reevaluate what is going on for my day This didn't take very much time. It also doesn't take very much time when you're mowing at like 500 times the speed or five times the speed. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could just speed up things like that. 
can be done. That would be cool. I'm really tired. I don't, I don't know. We'll get this done and see. That's five thirty, five forty. Maybe this is all I'm doing today. Seems like I haven't done much. I think we got a celebrity guest coming tomorrow, so that might take up most of the day. But we will see. All cleaned up. Looking good. We'll have to clean this one up once they get moved over to the other side where those trees are. Yeah, there's another pasture that's pretty big. This one here, we really got to split it from right there across. So we got four pastures. It's just too big um, to manage. You can't make sure they clean up one area. They'll go to the next. So it's all part of it. Well, like I said, we're going to move some of these heifers over across town to another pasture. Um, how we do it with the how we choose what go, animals go on pasture so dry cows if they were just dried off they go they can go on pasture but 30 days before they calve in um, they come back in so that they can have a good dry period pasture helps with fatter animals um, so they don't have health issues when they calve back in heifers if they've been preg checked three times positive and they're not within 90 days usually if they're going across town we want to make sure that they can spend the whole summer there that we don't have to go over and get them and then bring them back and bring them back when they're due to calve because that just makes a hassle trying to catch them so we tried to get cows that are confirmed pregnant three times um and that are like 100 100 120 days in, from calving and then they'll come back over spend some time in the dry period calve out and everything will be good Pasture is great for animals, but it's it's something you got to manage. Otherwise, it ends up being a disaster. Um, especially if it's poor pasture and yeah, yeah. And chasing cows in pasture really isn't that fun. Here, it's okay. We really, if they get out, it's because we let them out by accident or something like that. But I have friends that. Oh yeah, we put cows on pasture and we have to go chase them like once a week because they get out and we got to fix fence. It's usually like midnight and things are bad and they're all in the neighbors and we can't find them and this and that. Yeah. So. This is a, yeah, pasture for us is a tool to help with uh, dry cows. That's the main reason we have it. So, cows that don't get bred in time, that get carried on, that get fatty, fat or... Um, and put on too much weight then when they calve out they have DAs displaced admin admins uh, I can't even say the word twisted stomachs pretty much is what, it is what it, it is um, a twisted stomach they calve out they get ketosis um, and it's a rough battle they lose uh, peak milk yield um, if they ever even gain it back they might not make it yeah it's it's tough so you try to fight that and transition period is where all that comes from same with peak milk that comes from a good transition period so there's a lot of things that go on on a dairy as far as science and knowledge and making it happen so that is why these ladies are out on pasture and they are all ladies if you're not we have one bull two bulls one's older that should probably leave and can't trust a bull and one's younger so they're cleanup bulls pretty much for our heifers since yeah she seems pretty content coming over to check it out I guess I'm gonna go check out that ground and see how wet it is um yeah we did get the weather app said we got like three quarters of an inch i haven't looked at it i guess 
Oh yeah, 0.7 we got overnight. So, we have by far surpassed last year's rainfalls, which is a really good thing. Last year was a struggle. If you're new to the channel, we got less than four inches of rain from the time we put corn in to the time we harvested it. Pretty hard to grow corn on sandy soil that way. Our grass just didn't grow. We got first cutting and that was about it. But we'll run over and check the corn that had geese damage and see if that ground's dry enough that it could we could plant it. Um, there is some seed treatment. Some New York guys told me about it. Somebody actually wrote in the comments afterwards that helps protect from crows and turkeys and geese. Um, it was restricted. I haven't talked to my father yet um, to see if it's still re if it's restricted in mass. It became unrestricted in New York as far as use of it. Uh, but pretty much the geese would eat like three kernels, and then they didn't like the taste of it, so they stopped eating eating it because it was like I don't know thirty geese that ate. Okay, we're at like 20, 28,000 seeds per acre. And I'd say five acres of it is gone due to geese. So, I don't know. I want to go see how wet it is since it is supposed to rain more. So, we'll jump over there and see. No, it's, it's definitely, I think, dry enough. So, as you see, this was what we battled. There's some spots and then the rest is just dead. And it was geese. Geese, 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 geese. It's definitely still wet, but it's, I'm worried if it rains more, it might get wetter and we can't get back on. We're gonna give it a go, I think. I definitely, I thought about disking it, but I think I'm just going to set the planter low and it's, it's wetter, fluffier soil. So it's more of a pain, freaking geese. So got to get it replanted up where it sits a little higher. You can see the geese didn't bother with it. So I wonder if the seed was slower too. Really? Is that your plant? <laughs> uh, slower to emerge in the wetter spots and the geese just came in and destroyed them. It was, it was definitely, you can see the holes where they went down and picked them all out. Just crazy. Somebody said it might be turkeys and it might be turkeys, but I know the geese have been in here hot and heavy. So, I don't know, gotta do some thinking, but gotta get it replanted. This corn looks pretty sad too. Last stuff we planted because of how wet it was. But all part of it. So, I guess that will do it for today. We'll get home, see what's going on, get a plan together for this. I still gotta get fertilizer spread. It's supposed to rain on Monday afternoon. Like a decent amount so i don't know but i appreciate you guys watching along liking subscribing commenting and i'll see you on the next video have a good one